happening? Happening? <laughs> <Sink> here. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Miss Carly and Miss Lindsay. We're here for a crafternoon at the Northboro Free Library. True. Uh, we have outside right now our craft bags for you to pick up outside the children's room door. And they'll be out there until about 3.30. Or while supplies last. Exactly, but this is an easy one to replicate at home. If you um, ha you'll have most of the materials, and you can substitute some stuff with what if you miss Absolutely. the craft bags. So. Absolutely, let's get started. We've sure. got an awesome craft today because it's Pirate Week. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> it is Pirate Week here because did you know that this Saturday? That's today's day. <laughs> the 18th, I think, is Talk Like a Pirate Day. It's Talk Like a Pirate Day. So you'll have your craft ready to help you with that. Today we're going to make pirate cats that look something like that. They so go on your wrist. Adorable. Exactly. So once you have your bag of crafts that's at the side door of our library, you are going to need scissors, glue stick, and markers or crayons or colored pencils, some mm -hmm. sort of colorful writing implement. Okay. Your all right. So when you take out all of your materials, you'll have your instruction sheet in there mm -hmm. and you can follow along or, you know, do it the way you want to do it. Exactly. It's totally up to you. Um, so let's get started. We've got our paper tube. All right. And this is going to be the body of the parrot. Mm -hmm. All right. So an important thing to remember is make sure that these little holes in the bottom stay on the back because that's how it's going to sit on your wrist with those pipe cleaners. So make sure the top is the part without the holes. Yep. Okay. And we are going to first decorate the body with the construction paper, markers, or crayons. Whatever you like. All right. Whatever so you yeah, you can kind of choose. So if you don't have feathers color. at home and you're doing this on your own, you could always cut your feathers out of paper or something yeah. like that too. Very cool. I think I'm going to make a blue parrot. A blue parrot. Cool. I think he's going to be blue. I'm going to trim this a little bit because I'm going to kind of layer them. I'm gonna, it's going to have a blue body, but I think he's going to have a red. That's a good idea. And if you're going to cover your whole tube with construction paper, make sure you punch some holes in there so that you have, can get back through these little holes. All right, so with your glue stick, you want to make sure you're putting plenty of glue along the construction paper because that way it'll stick around the body and it won't just slide off. Or you can go with my method and rub it all over the tube. Yeah, yeah. oh, we did opposite. I there really you go. See, that. there's different ways to do everything. Different ways to do it. And none of those ways are wrong because crafting is about creativity. Mm -hmm. That's what I like about it. Yeah, me too. I like how they always turn out different, even though we're given the same supplies. Yeah. I'm going to borrow your glue stick if that's okay, sure. because mine is running out. There's another one right here. Oh, too. okay. Thank you. We're prepared for all crafting situations in here. Crafting situations. So as you can see, I'm just using scissors. You may have a grown-up help you with this, just to punch the hole back through. All right. Oh, I got to do the same thing, don't I? All right. Let's see. Let's find the holes. And we'll put the... Just like that. It's really easy. You just find the hole and hook it through. All right, so I've got the blue body on mine. That's going to be the main part of the body. Ooh, that's a good idea. A pink belly. And then I've got red that I'm going to put around the top. And I think I'm going to, I think I'll add, I think I'll add a red belly. A red belly. Cool. A red belly. Mine's going to be the red belly parrot. Red belly parrot. It kind of looks like a tongue. It does kind of look like a tongue. Maybe it's the right. red tongue parrot. Ooh. That's a big tongue if that's a tongue for a parrot. I don't want to be that parrot's lens. Uh, I think I that parrot would just eat lollipops. Probably. Yeah, it does have a red tongue. It probably should be lollipops. Yeah. All right, so nice. I've got the belly on mine, and then I'm going to put the head on. So i got to trim this a little bit because the top part is going to be red. Okay. 
And you kind of arrange it the way you want to arrange it. If you want to make a belly on your bird, great. If you want to make, you know, a, an interesting pattern yeah. on its back. Spots, maybe. Hey, Stripes. the great some spotted parrot. Didn't put enough glue on there, but maybe some fancy plumage on its back. Plumage, what a great word, plumage. Feathers, right? It does, it does. And a lot of the time it refers to extravagant or detailed, um, really kind of fancy Well, you feathers. know, I do like to fancy. Fancy, you've got a fancy parrot. A fancy parrot. It's a fancy parrot. It sticks its pinky out, right? Oh. Uh, if it had pinkies. <laughs> if it had pinkies, if it had pinkies. Oh, no. All right, so we've got, I've got the head and the belly and the blue body. And then uh, we got to make the face, right? We got to yeah. put our googly eyes on. You should have two googly eyes in your bag. And you're going to want to use plenty of glue. Mm -hmm. And you're going to want to let them dry. I know, it's tempting to move them around. I hate waiting. But if you wait a little bit longer, then they will stick better. And you don't want to lose an eye. Well, unless you want to pirate pair it. Well, there you, you can go. put one eye on and make an, and make eye, an patch. eye patch. That's a good idea. Yeah, idea. pirate I have, parrot. I don't have matching eyes. They're different sizes. I kind of like that. It makes them look very good. Whereas I prefer matching eyes, but that's just me. I know, so I left them. I appreciate that. Thank you. My eyes are falling off. Mm -hmm. I might have to make an eye patch because... There you go. I like that idea. <laughs> ah, look, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, Miss Lindsay right. works on her eyes. We have some, you have a little red piece here that you could use as the beak, but uh, you could also draw it on in any color you want, blue or yellow. I think I'm going to use the red beak today. Are you going to draw yours or use your beak? You know what? Because markers? my head is red, I think the red would be a little too much. A little too much. So I am actually going to use some of my blue that's left over. Cool. And make a blue beak. That's a good idea. And all you have to do is cut off the corner like that, and you've got a little triangle. Mm -hmm. And you just glue that on, and the triangle is your beak. Isn't I used fun? the red that was in there. I mean, oh, that is a big beak. That mine is a big beak. Mine is a big blue well, beak. Well, I mean, look red, at that red tongue. <laughs> Red-bellied parrot. Oh, my gosh, look at him. All right. And then you are going to have some feathers. Oh, that's fun. They're a feathers. They're sticky. I got, sticky. I got glue on my oh. hands, too. You'll probably have glue on your hands, too, when you're making this. So you'll feel just like a <laughs> So you I think have, this yellow one wants to live on my parrot. I think it's the it one's yep. yellow wings. So you can put feathers up top. You can put feathers as the wings. You yes. can put feathers as the tail. They it's totally match. up they to you. They don't have to match. It, you can do yep. whatever you like. I and you I'm can cut them too. Them if you have one that's too big, you can cut it and use the other piece somewhere else. Or as two wings, you can cut one in half. And use. Yep. If, you, if you really want your wings to match, you can have one that matches. It work. is up to you. Miss Lindsay, I've gotten a little sticky here. That's okay. It'll wash off. That's good. I think I'm because you know what? Learning and making are messy. Miss Lindsay, you'd like to say that. It's so true. Because it's so true. And I want everybody to make sure that they know it's okay to get messy. You guys know how to clean up, my friends. And maybe your grown-up will help you clean up. Or maybe you will clean up all on your own. But I know my friends know how to clean up. And I know that they know that learning is messy. And making is messy. It's all messy. Mm -hmm. This is a really pretty. It is pretty. I like your pink. Ooh. Oh, well, thank you. It has one blue wing and one green wing. And more fancy pink plumage up top. I think I'm going to make two of these white wings. Very cool. So you can put the, um, I have to cut this one because it's a little big. You can put the glue right on the cardboard tube and it makes it a little bit easier than mm -hmm. trying to put the glue on the feathers. That's a good point. Or if you end up in a real pinch, your grown-ups might have some tape. Absolutely. Absolutely. What do you think? 
Oh, he looks very dignified. He matches a little. Uh, he's a little more symmetrical than mine is. Mine is the uh, lopsided eyes, blue and green one. He, he likes to do his own thing. Yes. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. What's next, Charlie? Our last step is you're going to grab your pipe cleaner, and you're just going to snip it right in half. You fold it in half. That way the ends meet. Good and idea. Makes a nice fold at the top. There we go. Then you're going to take one half, and you're going to put it through a hole. And you're going to make a little fold so it doesn't come right back out through. So what I'm kind of did, I'll show you on the outside on this one, is I made like a loop like this, that's bigger than your hole. See, just like that. And then we could do this by threading this through from the outside. See? So they get stuck on the inside and come out. And then you put your parrot on your wrist. You can have a grown-up help you if you need help. Or you, you can... You know, I'm okay. Right. But thank you, Miss Lindsay. Miss Lindsay's my grown-up today. And then you can twist the ends just a little bit so it stays on there. Oh my goodness. There we go. And we have a parrot friend. Do you need a hand? I, I actually do need I'm a I'm going to be Miss Lindsay's grown-up now. And we give it one twist. Look at that! Squawk, squawk, squawk! Squawk, squawk! Ahoy, mateys! Where are the clockers? Ugh, the Scallywag. <laughs> a scallywag. Oh my goodness, bee. what's your parent's name? Ma, I think I'm going to name mine Scallywag. He looks kind of like he's a, That means a new pirate, somebody who's just getting the ropes. You know, you know what? And mine's, mine's kind of all over the place. I'm going to name him the Blunderer. The Blunderer? The Ooh. Blunderer. Well, speaking of pirates, we have a pirate escape room going on right now that you can, you can make a pirate friend and uh, you can do it together with your grown up. Or if you're a little older, you can do it all by yourself. But you mm -hmm. get a bonus summer reading raffle ticket if you do that. Yes. And we've been giving out... It's fall reading frenzy raffle ticket. Oh, sorry. I said summer reading. I'm still in summer in the brain. Oh, we've got we've got fall reading frenzy mm -hmm. happening right now on Beanstalk. Just like summer reading, but for fall. It's very exciting. Yeah. Um, there's going to be prizes. And yeah. you can earn raffle tickets through attending our virtual programs exactly for those of you who um, are earning those badges this week we have a, a pirate themed um badge that you can get if you attend a story time or watch our craft videos so for those of you who are using that you'll enter the code word parrot in all capital letters parrot, parrot in all capital letters to get this week's par uh, pirate themed badge oh that's a good one so mm -hmm. we've got the pirate virtual escape room mm -hmm. we have a pop-up library happening tomorrow, tomorrow. afternoon 1230 to 330. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to go on Beanstalk, log your reading, and get raffle tickets for some really great prizes yeah. that are going to be posted, I think, this week. We're, we're putting them up on Beanstalk, and then keep your eyes on our Instagram. If you don't follow us on Instagram, you should go follow us, um, and you'll see the prizes. We'll be posting pictures of what they, we have in store for you. A sneak peek. There's something with Mo Willems' autograph on it, guys. I know. Amazing. If you're big Mo Willems fans. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining me, Ms. Mm. Carly, and myself, Miss Lindsay, here at the North Grove Free Library for Craft Renewed. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.